How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to episode 25 of my Shadow of the Tomb Raider Let's Play series, picking up right where we left off, uh, as usual. As you can see, secrets don't stay secret for very long in Titi. If you were to deviate from the plan, you'd find out quickly. I see that. She's here to help me find something I lost. You don't have to worry about that. Was father a scout when he was my age? He was a hunter. Was he ferocious? He could be. But he was also very kind. Look around if you wish. I will be in the market across the river when you're ready to find the box of his shell. What I saw, he has that. Enough, Taki. You lost your dice. Fine. But who lie about it? All right. Had me press press F for this guy to talk, and he doesn't talk. I'm surprised a place like this could exist so close to um, a more modernized town such as Kuak Yaku. Just seeing if there's things other than plants. Reinforced knife. <laughs> Onahim bete kachil, onahim bete wabash kachil, min helim bisal kabil kachile, waulak bash hachkas, bale bello le tie, helu yubikubah, kasil tinguoxale, helu tukulti kachile, masima, beishan tech, ma wabe yurchi, ha, ingo helili bello. This guy really cares for his llama? I think, Plama? I don't know. 
Jacobin Balwinik Ichil, una tobe. Tak tubelil, aquí quitanesh. Saeston Nupachtalil. Oyantal Yabas Ishim. Yetel Papas. Kai Yetel Bak. U Yeshu Payalche. Apalales. Yetel Siestón Black. Habil Kustal Yetel Senutzel. This describes something nearby. A lone sentry stands guard over me and his harvest. I don't have enough space for that. Sat not the monolith? Oh, it's over there. Another one of these things. Born to famine, raised in rebellion, orphaned but never alone. He rises as the sun. Mama says it upsets the waterfall's waka if I play in the cave. She just thinks it's too dangerous, even though there's all kinds of neat stuff in there. Smart kid, but at least he uh, follows what his mother says, even if he understands she's mostly lying for his sake. <laughs> will be useful. There we go. I'm glad I to take that. Wow, this area is surprisingly big. There is a side mission here. I think I'm going to go towards that. So I always go towards the side missions first. Oh, nice. This Spanish document relates one of the many stories of El Dorado, the Golden One. When the first Spanish exploration ships returned home with their holds full of gold, the news spread like wildfire, and the stories got more extravagant with each retelling. Rumors of the Golden City gave birth to countless expeditions to the New World. I wonder if that's actually how it played out. It's just one ship found a bunch of gold and every rumors spiraled out of control until it was a city. I don't know, I've never really looked up El Dorado. Or the legends surrounding it. So I know the basic legend, because who doesn't, but... I guess there are people who don't. Sorry, that was my phone hitting my desk. Junk Tool Winnick, 
Ya no lo ves alto que no va. Ay, champal. Hachmalo, guamá, uyik. Baló, bello. Bastrin, basco, yo chul. Ya no vas a wogel. Yo que sale el macobo. De che laili. De che y chilop ya nech. Chocopista. Sacpen si la tag yo que sale no. Maikatin gui. Ulak bali. Tan la tag wa. I don't know why it wants us to, or why it lets us pet them, but... Are all these young people crazy these days? I've seen kids scramble like goats in the heights above the village. Scares me to death. I hope you've grown out of your wild stage, young woman. Uh, not quite yet, I'm afraid. Of course you haven't. But you will. So will these children. They will tire of whatever they've found up there. Eventually. Ah. Nice. Good thing I came up here. Might have found out on my own, but... I'd rather, uh... Someone point puts on my map. Sound hiccup there. And again. Hmm. Can't figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. I caught a fish once at home. In the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. Funny, huh? Makes sense. <laughs> It's a bit gladly humbling this. to be here in Paititi. I didn't foresee any of this. I was expecting an ancient place, artifacts, tombs. I just failed to imagine people. I was so focused on the trail of clues, I didn't even stop to wonder. I didn't mean to interfere, but Trinity's here. She failed to think that the civilization might be alive, but this is the second time this has happened to her. That happened in the last game as well. Went up expecting runes. Found a civilization. She's surprised to happen again. Oh, they took my guns. All right. I have no clue what's up here. I'm just exploring.
during a fierce battle, a man of two bloods throws down his weapons and, speaking with passions, convinces the other warriors to do the same. They follow him from the battlefield into the city, where they behead several merchants whose initial bickering caused the war. I'm surprised that that wasn't one of the, uh, or that wasn't a challenge to jump from there. Itch. Hello, giant eagle. That I can't shoot down. Do you believe that major events in life can be traced back to a single moment? I do. Take what's happening now. Had Amaru and Saidi not fought that day during the famine? And had Saidi not insisted, despite Amaru's wishes, that it should be him who would go beyond the safety of the borders to hunt for the village, perhaps things would be different today. You see, Amaru felt responsible for his brother's death. I heard him the night they pulled Sairi's body from the wilderness. He was beside himself with grief. I think that was the moment. It broke Amaru. He took complete control of Paititi after that. He wanted to protect us all because he couldn't protect Saidi. All right. Talk to the quest giver in a moment. This guy suddenly wants to talk again. Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy. Alright. I can see him. Even if no one else can. Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice. And no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh. You're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll tell you what. I'll pay very close attention. And if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It wouldn't be the first time the dead seemed to speak to me. She is right. I know Pisco took my dice. I hope you can get them back. Where would I go for something like that? Hmm. Okay, it did mark it. The new methods of agriculture introduced by the cult of Kukulkan have only succeeded in destroying more crops. First, the bee colonies collapsed. Then the cocoa crop failed. The earth is too damaged for anything but corn to grow, and the stalks are flimsy. We must take action 
or Paititi will suffer a tremendous famine. This is a traditional foot plow, still used in the Andes today, even outside Paititi. Sometimes the simple ways are still the best. Not entirely sure how this works, but... Alright. Wow, I was literally right next to them and I didn't grab them. <laughs> Unfortunately, everybody, is about that time of the episode. Uh, thank you everyone very much for watching, and we'll pick up right here next time. Alright, bye.